Obsidian is called your second brain. How does it compare with Notion? If you're looking for their comparison, this is the video you need. So Obsidian is a note taking and knowledge graph app that can work as a second brain. Notion is a blog based note taking app to create personal and workplace projects. So in terms of tools, both differ slightly. As Notion is based on blogs, each blog is considered a tool and we find over 50 blog types, which is fabulous. Obsidian does not support many tools because it's more for complex structural projects. It supports both plain text and markdown language. In markdown, we use keyboard symbols to tell the app what to write. But what makes Obsidian so powerful is the knowledge graph section. This is actually our universe. Ah, this is better. When you connect one Obsidian page to another, the program automatically connects the two in this graph. And honestly, as the project extends, you will see something like this, which looks like a universe. With this graph, you will be able to see how the whole project is set up and how pages are connected to make it a whole project. Both apps are available on Windows, macOS, Linux, Android and iOS devices. Notion comes with a web clipper extension that lets us save a whole page or just a part of page in a note. In terms of collaboration, Obsidian does not support it. However, we can share the stored files with others via storage platforms. In Notion, we can send email invitations to view and edit pages. Notion supports workspaces. You can have two workspaces, one for personal stuff and other for the workplace. You can invite users to the workplace workspace and collaborate on projects. Let's talk about templates and this is the place where you see the real power of Notion. Its template library is so powerful that it'll be hard to believe that those templates are made in Notion. Why is that? I'll get there in a minute. But let's talk about Obsidian's templates. Unfortunately, we don't have any templates to download or purchase. Yet. So back to Notion. Why do you create something that looks like this and the templates look like this? This is because of the thing called views. Notion is a few views that completely change the look of the page. Those include the calendar, sheet, Kanban style and so on. Once you master this app, you won't need many of the other apps. Now Notion has integrations whereas Obsidian has plugins. Notion can be connected with other applications to provide a faster experience. Whereas Obsidian plugins are to increase its limits. Notion also has widgets that work like blocks. Even though it has 50 blocks, some are still missing. For example, a whiteboard or a graph block would have been nice. This is where widgets come into play. Now before we go any further, let's discuss the cost of using both. Both are free. Obsidian by default is offline. You can manually connect it with one of the storage platforms or you pay them for the Cloud Sync plugin which will save your notes to the cloud automatically. Obsidian has a couple of other packages as well to support development. Notion on the other hand does not limit blocks on its free plan so you can use it personally as long as you like. The pro plan brings private guests option, unlimited file storage and version history for up to 30 days. There is a team plan as well if you are in a team. So which one is for you? Notion is a note taking and documentation app and if you are looking for one of those, go with Notion. Obsidian is for individuals and teams with projects needing more than just a note page. Obsidian can be your brand with its knowledge graph, but you will be the one fueling and training this brain. Anyway, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments. Take care.